Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are gonna be running Android apps on our Linux machine. So let's get started. So there's multiple ways to actually run Android applications on Linux, one being uh, running a virtual machine, two, uh, there's software that actually emulates or a streamlined version of emulation that does Android applications. Three is the method that we're looking at, which is gonna be running it natively. And there's also another way where you could download a Chrome extension to run Android apps. Each way has its own perks, but um, the best application out there is the one that will actually run your app. So uh, I'll list down right over here what those apps are, but today we are gonna be testing out Anbox. If you do wanna see me test out the other apps as well, just let me know down in the comments below. So let's begin. So to get started, we're gonna head over to that website called Anbox.io. Now, there's many descriptions of what it can do, but mainly I'm just looking at the install. If you navigate down a little, it's gonna have a little way of installing. So the first thing you need to do is actually install kernel modules, but if you are running 1904 and above, it's already baked into the kernel, so you no, don't need to install it. But you could run this little command to see if you do have it available. And I could tell you that since I'm running 1804, because this is elementary OS, it does not have it in the operating system. So I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna run this real quick. And yeah, you see that there, the files are not there. So what I'm gonna to need to do is actually install the kernel modules. And by following these steps right over here, that's pretty much it. I think I have the repository already. Next up is to run the next command, which is installing the Linux headers and the Anbox module DKMS. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste that. It's gonna require me to reboot afterwards. All right, we are back, it's done installing. And like I said, I probably have to reboot this, but I'm gonna check if there's any other steps that I need before I reboot. Um, after you installed it, the manual load the module. The next time the system start will be automatically loaded. Um, I don't actually have to restart. I can just manually load it. Now I'm going to restart anyway. All right. Uh, now that we're back on, uh, we're going to check, and I'm pretty sure I should have those modules listed. So I'm just going to run this little command again and see if it's available. So no such device for binder. Okay, that's a problem. So let's see if I do sudo. Still, no such thing, huh? So, uh, according to what I'm reading right now, through the zero bug logs, it's actually not a bug. Uh, it says that the binder will actually be binder FS and it's merged once Android 13.09 is merged. It'll be working once 13.09 is merged, which I hope it is. So, I'm gonna just go forward and install Anbox and see if it runs or else this will just be a very short video. So let's uh, let's give that a try. Uh, right now I'm just gonna do snap. So this one is correct. Paste that, sudo snap install dev mode dash beta and box. All right, it installed. So I should have a little application now called inbox. I'm guessing it's in games. Nope, education. Graphics, internet, office, other, other. Okay. Let's see if it opens up. Oh, it does work. So I guess the bug is fixed and whatever they did, they merged a new code in there and it started right up. So let's see if I was to go into say files, uh, that loads up pretty well. Calendar, uh, calculator, uh, that works as well. And calendar, yep, that's working as well. So it seems like the default Android app that comes pre-shipped is working. So if I was to actually try to install an application, so I'm gonna go over to files and I downloaded this guy, uh, that doesn't work. So I would need to install it. I think uh, how to sideload ADB, do I have ADB? Android tools. Android tools ADB. 
and I think regular ADB would have installed it as well. So ADB is a tool that allows you to communicate with Android. So if I do ADB, let's see, let's head over to download. ADB install and I got WhatsApp. So let's see if I'm able to install that. Okay. And there we have it, the app. Let's see if it starts. Oh, it does work. I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but yeah, I, I managed to get an app working. And to find apps online, uh, do a Google search. There's so many websites that you can just download. And it's not piracy. It's just like if you don't have an official version of Android, uh, Google Play won't install it. So you could still get the apps as long as it's not paid. It's free. It's freeware and all that stuff. You could still download it and you're not going to get in trouble for that. But uh, it seems that everything is working. Um, I, I managed to get an application that I found online to work for Android, which is WhatsApp. And I'm pretty sure there are plenty of, oh, that was a glitch. I'm pretty sure there was uh, plenty of applications on Android that you could get onto this. And if it doesn't work on this, there are other alternative methods with, uh, which I will be looking into in the future. But as of right now, this works uh, natively towards Linux and it comes with a pretty cool menu. I, I'm not running any virtual appliance or virtual machines or anything. It just just works. So that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't noticed by now, my Tuesday videos are usually on the shorter spectrum just to show you guys what I've learned or what I've discovered, stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.